All right, what is up, guys? I've got a, a crazy cool video for you guys, something I don't do a lot of, and that's an unboxing, and I've got a box set here that I just bought that I want to show you guys off, and to give you a hint what it is, if you already read it, because you've already read it, you know what the video is, but I'm wearing this filler, Philadelphia jersey, uh, Will Chamberlain jersey, for a reason, because this series is set in Philadelphia, and that is The Office. Let's grab this bad boy, here you go. The Office Complete Collection, um, a series I got into not a hell of a long time ago, uh, maybe six months ago, just saw it on TV reruns, and I was like, okay, this is actually pretty funny. Was not on Australian Netflix, I was like, I've got to buy, got to buy, got to buy. JB Haifa hooked me up with a 20% uh, off deal, and I was like, you know what? Pulling the hammer, bought this thing, I think, just over $100 I bought this for, so very excited to pick this up and show you guys the entire box set, and I will right now, and I apologize for the glare. Now, as you can see, you got Michael Scott, Steve Carell on the front there of the office. You got Jim and Pam and the rest of the side characters there. And then Dwight and Andy on that side, and again, and the other side characters. And on the back, you have the 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 info, I suppose, all the seasons. Now, my one complaint about this box set, before even going through it, is the material that it's made out of is just abysmal. It is very, very like as you can see, just by shipping, it's got a lot of uh, it's got a few dints and scratches on it. That material is very, very bad idea. Uh, they should not have done that um, because that it, as I said, it's very frail. And just by shipped here, it is it is done. But opening it up opens up just like that to the top of the DVDs. And as I said, that I'm actually it looks like they've broken one of my DVDs, and I'm a bit chuffed that I can replace it because I have plenty. But let's go through the seasons. Uh, with season one, as you can see there, it's got Steve Carell, Dwight, Jim, and Pam, and then BJ Novak's character, Ryan, who's not a huge character, but I assume the reason he's on there because he's actually a producer. So, it, you know, that's probably the reason, by the way. That looks very, very bad. Um, cool. I've actually opened this up, so I know what season two looks like. And how botched does that look as well? This, the... the 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 shots are not the best and you can tell this is a low budget show early on it's actually obviously the remake or the they redid the uk version and they had a very low budget in the beginning and a lot of people didn't like it in the beginning and it was threatened to be cancelled season three when it's picked up got renewed and became one of the like greatest comedy sitcoms of all time a lot of people love it and even but looking at season three that's a season three dvd you can tell the difference um, just of quality already, and as I said, it's got basically the same people on it, but it's added Ed Helms and Rashida Jones. Um, Ed Helms becomes a season regular, Rashida Jones does not. Um, show regular, she lasts the season, but that's about it, I think. And then you've got the mains again on that one. Season four. I'm trying to figure which way I'm putting it. This time I've added Andy and Ed Helms' character to the front, that is season four. Five. Again, I have not seen this entire thing. I reckon I've seen half the episodes. Uh, majority not in order. I see like three episodes and I'm discovered to see like three episodes. So I'm glad to finally have it on DVD. Um, this is the same six again. Four season six saying that. Um, the backs are pretty much all look like that similar thing. Just have like the, the side characters and a bit of a plot on there. And special features and stuff. Uh, oh, that doesn't fall over. Okay, so they replaced... BJ Novak Ryan's character uh, with Craig Robertson's character, which is really cool. I like that they put him on here because uh, he he was a big part of the later seasons. And I've actually seen a lot of the later seasons as well, so I know that he's a big part of it. And then we're going to get really sad because everyone is on this season. Everyone is on season eight, even the people that added, like everyone, except Steve Carell because he left the last two seasons. And that sucks. The show was still a, a good show. Um, I always thought, I was like, that's going to turn a crap. I watched it, and I watched like a majority of season eight or nine, and then I was like, you know what? After watching it again, like I watched like season one and two, I was like, he does make the show a lot better, but it, it's not a bad show without him, which is always a good thing. And this is again, the all basically all the characters on there for the last season. As I said, it's a bit cracked there, so I might have to put it in a new case, but... That, I think that biggest problem there is probably the case. As you can see how thin that case is, uh, it is very, very thin, uh, very flimsy box. Uh, I'm just reading here, you can tell the difference between season one's got 120 minutes of episodes, so six episodes, and the next have 450 
to 550, so it shows there's a lot more episodes later on, and basically, as I said, they got into a better flow of the show, but there you have it, guys, that is the Office Complete uh, Collection video, uh, I, again, I've already opened it, so I knew what to expect, um, and it's weird. I'm just looking at the side here. They have Steve Carell. If you guys can see this, I'm showing you. This is like I'm not good at unboxing, so apologies if it's a bit botched. But you can see that Steve Carell's on every single one of the scenes except the last two that he's not in. And they've put Ed Helms' character, uh, Andy, and then Dwight Schrute, like they went Wade Wilson. Jim does not make any of those, which is probably the second biggest character. Maybe I could give you. I could probably give you. Uh, I could probably give you Jim as that. And so I'm not going to try to put this back in. You guys have seen it. I'm going to struggle to do it on camera, and I will not. But thank you guys for watching this kind of unboxing of the video. It's more of a just a showing off of the of the box set. I have not watched any special features or like all the episodes, so I can't really uh, say anything about that. But as the box set looks, I say the only problem I really have with it is just like the material it's made out of. I haven't seen other box sets. I don't know if there is any other box sets, but... A uh, great show. I'm really excited to be able to snatch the entire thing out, and I definitely recommend anyone buying it. Um, as I said, I got it for a hundred five dollars ish, um, marked down from about hundred forty. So great to finally have it on my shelf for nine seasons. So, you know, it's like twelve dollars a season roughly. Uh, but again, guys, I don't really do unboxings too often, so don't just think this is a really shitty unboxing channel because it's not. I do Blu-ray updates. I do Blu-ray collection videos i just uploaded my 2018 one i do a lot of reviews as well once or twice a week if not i'll do like three or four in a week because i'll miss the last one just because the way i watch the movies i um, generally watch them thursdays and mondays but sometimes i won't watch one on thursday so we'll loop around for a week and i won't get one not but always have videos up and as well as i'm starting to book sundays uh this sunday i think this video will definitely be up I think Thursday, so hopefully by Sunday you guys have seen this. Get ready for Steelbook Sundays, but thank you guys for watching, and of course, have a good one.